Okay, so we are going to do a little fall landscape. Your paper, this is what the final, your paper's not quite that big. I'm gonna draw in a cray paw so it's easier to see. You're gonna just draw in a pencil. But at the bottom of my paper, I'm going to make a couple of hills. This is in the foreground. It's gonna be closer to me. Here's a little hill in the background. It's smaller. When we use crepe, well, before I add that, now I'm going to draw my tree. My tree, I like to draw a tree like the letter Y, but still, this part of my tree is skinny. This part is skinny, but then the branches are what branches out. That's why I made the letter Y. Then I can start to have all of my branches And this tree's in the foreground. So that means it's going to be bigger. I can see more details. And I'm going to use a couple of different colors to color in my tree. I'm gonna overlap those colors. And if you want to, you can make a smaller tree in the background. It's in the background, so it's not gonna be quite as big. And then I'm going to color because the grass, even though the leaves are starting to change colors, the grass in quite a few places is still green. So I'm going to do my green. And again, I do love to overlap my colors. I'm going to put a little bit of an orange in this one. And then I'm going to do some yellow in the one that's kind of farther in the distance. Using a white, you can, using a white, you could make a moon and you could make a few stars in the background because we're going to paint these. And if you look on this one, you can see where I drew my moon and my stars in white. So then when I painted them, they showed up. Thank you. Now, now I can go back and start to draw my leaves on my tree. And these are fall leaves. If you wanna put a few green leaves in there, you can. But right now, we're just going to do the fall leaves. And I'm gonna use a couple of different colors. You're really not gonna see any blues on your tree, but you're gonna see some yellows and you're gonna see some reds. And where we live is awesome, or where we go to school is awesome because there's so many trees that you can start to see turn colors. So that is what we're doing. Step one is we are making the two hills in the front. Step two is we're doing our tree, and you guys are drawing these in pencil. You tell me if this is the right kind of tree. Is that one tree? No. No. You want your tree to be a skinny Y. This part is all skinny, and that's something people, it's a skinny Y, then I can go add some of my branches and my leaves to my branches. Hey, 